Hey guys, uh, my name is Justin Boss. Uh, Myron and Charlotte asked uh, that I would make a little video talking about being an RA leader. Um, this is the fifth year we're starting that Derek and I have led the RAs at Ridgeview. Um, they've had RAs for years and years and years at Ridgeview. RAs itself is well over 100 years old. Um, you can get a lot of information on the RA website through WMU. Um, a lot of good resources there as far as different things, different activities. They have magazines that you subscribe to if you want um, that have a lot of good information about missionaries. Um, RAs is a missionary um, study for kids grades first through six boys uh, the girls version is GAs and they have a version where you can have boys and girls called CAs children in action GAs girls in action um, but I was asked a few years ago to start leading the RAs at Ridgeview definitely wasn't on my radar um, I'd just been asked to start a rotation of teaching adults on Wednesday nights and then this came up for RAs and I went to the website and looked at all the information saw all the stuff that they had going on and, and I bought into it and I haven't bought in entirely I don't go by the the leader book um, I don't necessarily go by the materials that they have for, for teaching um, but you can do that makes it easy they got it spelled right out for you in the leader guides the little magazines they send out every quarter um, but I wanted to read the the verse and the surrounding verses that RAs is based on uh, 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 um, the RA verse is verse 20 but I want to start back up in 17 um, it says therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation old things have passed away behold all things have become new now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. And here's the RA verse. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. And then verse 21 is one of the biggest verses in the whole Bible. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So, RAs, it's about being ambassadors for Christ, about being representatives of Christ. That's the reason this verse was picked is because it is. It's missions um, focused. The North American Mission Board, International Mission Board, it's all through the women's missionary union. It's where you get supplies and, and things like that. But that verse right there hit home really hard with me, that whole passage really. And being able to teach these boys, not just to learn about missionaries, which we do that some. We use the books, we, you know, we've written letters to missionary kids and things like that. We've got a map that hangs on the wall where whenever we have a missionary in, you know, we go look at where they're at. Um, but it's about being missionaries. I recommend that you go to YouTube and watch as many Ray Comfort videos as you can. Uh, Living Waters is the YouTube channel. Um, and you'll be inspired to lead these boys in being missionaries wherever they're at. Um, we got heavily into passing out tracks. Um, we've got tracked wallets that every boy gets. Um, it's actually a tract itself, has the gospel on the back. But inside, these boys keep these million dollar bills. Uh, it's also from Living Waters. There's other companies that do them. You can go Living Waters, One Million Tracks, um, Track Planet. They all have really good tracks. But being missionaries, every week in class, we're emphasizing how important it is to share the gospel with people. Um, and a way kids can do it is by passing out tracks. We usually have events every year where we'll go to 
like a minor league baseball game and the, have the boys hand out tracks to people. Um, we'll do like a food drive at the grocery store and when people are coming by, we're not just collecting food for the physical needs of the people in the community, we're giving tracks to every person who walks by us so that they know the gospel. And on Judgment Day, they'll have no excuse. And we hope that they will repent and believe what they've read. Um, so anyway, back to the way we've done things. Um, we don't want it to be just a Bible study. Bible study is very important. I mean, these boys hopefully are reading their Bibles at home. Um, they're getting fed in Sunday school, but we don't want it to be Sunday school part two. And that's why we've really emphasized being a missionary. Um, we didn't want to just go entirely about learning about international missionaries, uh, North American missionaries. Um, but we didn't want it to just be another Sunday school lesson. So that's why we've had a focus on evangelism, on being missionaries. That's why those tracks come in so handy. Um, at Ridgeview, the way we've taught the boys to just have the gospel always in their minds. Um, a quick, easy way we taught them to memorize the gospel is just three steps. You know, one, we're wicked sinners talk about the verses that support that two jesus died for wicked sinners and three he rose on the third day that's the gospel you got the bad news up front and then we got the really 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 good news of jesus and what he did for us and the proper response to that being to repent making sure these boys know what repent means turn away from your sins put your trust totally in jesus repent and believe repent and trust and it's so rewarding when these boys, hey, tell me what the gospel is. And boom, they can, they can spout it out for you. And training them, equipping them to have conversations with people that they know at school. Whether it's handing out a tract. Whether it's having a conversation. Um, so every year we're very focused on that. We're very focused on scripture memory. Um, let me grab my son's vest here and show you kind of some of the, the patches and stuff that they do. Um, there's a sports patch. Oh, anyway, the vest. I guess I should tell you what the vest is. Man, I bought into that as soon as I saw that on their website. Like, hey, this is going to give these kids incentive to actually do things. Incentive to come to events we have. Incentive to come to class, incentive to memorize scripture. So we just kind of made up our own rules, which we took the, uh, the, you know, the main idea from the website. It gives you all that on how they think, you know, earn invest and, and stuff. So what we did is we, we just said, okay, you get, when you get 10 points, we just have a point system in class. So, 10 points. Basically, if you come to class for a month, we do, we give a point for attendance. We give a point for memorizing a Bible verse. We give a point for bringing your Bible to class. We usually give like five points when you come to an event, something like that. And, you know, we throw out bonus points throughout the year. And the boys really buy into it. Um, every year, there's a lot of things we do that are repetitive just to burn it in those kids' brains, uh, these important truths from the Bible. But there's also, we mix in some new stuff each year. Or maybe every other year we'll revisit something that we haven't talked about. But the biggest thing is about being missionaries. So back to the vest. So, like I said, we, we give them a vest when we see that they're going to be coming consistently. So, like I said, 10 points. Usually a month of coming to class, and you got a vest. So... They have different patches. You can order these through uh, WMUstore.com or whatever it is. You can look that up, I'm sure. Um, but a sports patch, basically a kid played on a sports team. You know, they're representing Jesus on that sports team. Camp out. Um, there's different kinds of camp outs. You can do your own camp out with just your church. Uh, here, Holston Valley Baptist Association does a camp out 
Um, it's actually coming up this coming weekend uh, where we get together with the other churches in our association. So we do that. There's also a national camp out in West Tennessee where there's like a thousand or more RAs that all get together for a weekend in October. It's coming up soon. We've never been to that, but you know, you can make your own rules for that. Uh, missions activity, anytime boy helps out. Like I said, going to the minor league baseball game, handing out tracks, collecting food, handing out tracks there too. Um, every year, Thanksgiving, you know, there's Black Friday sales. You know, we challenge the boys to go out to the people that are waiting in line and hand out tracks or share the gospel with people there. Um, just different things that we do throughout the year. So you can do that. Thanksgiving ministry, we deliver meals. Um, every year in the spring in our association, but your association may do it differently. Um, there's a, where you make little wooden race cars, go down the track. So if they participate in that. We give them one of these patches. Um, there's other patches too. Lottie Moon Christmas offering. If they help collect money for Lottie Moon or do something related to that, we give them that patch. And then all these little year patches here too, which there's a bunch I haven't sewn on yet. Um, international mission study we gave that uh, they have different requirements on the website but basically at a lock-in we had one year we talked about international missionaries specifically um, for I don't even uh, might have been Indonesia or something but every boy that came to the lock-in got one of these um, this past year we had a special patch made up since this is the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation, the unofficial start when Martin Luther nailed the 95 Theses on the Castle Church door. So it's 500th anniversary of that. This year at our lock-in, we watched the movie uh, Luther, and we talked about a lot of the reformers like Martin Luther, John Calvin, Zwingli. We talked about a lot about William Tyndale. Um, had a video of him that we've watched in class before just talking about the importance of scripture you know scripture 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 that's that's where we're focusing here in RAs is scripture how it backs it up trains these boys to be missionaries um, other patches here <clears throat> uh, there's like a physical fitness patch so that's you know we take one day a year and we do these little challenges that's all on the website for RAs uh, the ones on the front, lads, that is first through third grade. Crusaders are fourth through sixth grade. Um, these are grade level patches. So what we did, I think this is the same as they do on the website. Uh, for your grade level, once you memorize 12 Bible verses and you have 24 other points, so whatever it be, just come to class and stuff like that, you get your grade level patch. And then these little stars and bars that go under it, each one of those represents 12 points. So we, they, we just award those periodically throughout the year. You know, try to keep track of when they get their 12th memory verse to try to get them that patch. Because it just, it encourages them, man. When they get an award, uh, they get that patch. Oh, and there's also a pen that goes with it. He's lost his first grade pen, but um, nonetheless. So that that's kind of some of the awards for the patches. Um, there's medals too. Bronze medal is for memorizing 25 Bible verses in one year. Um, so he's gotten one of those each of his first three years. This last year he got a silver medal. That's for memorizing 50 Bible verses in one year. And yeah, these kids will put us to shame as adults. Um, last year, uh, no, not, not this past year, but the year before, we had a boy who got a gold medal. That's 75 memory verses in one year. You realize that's one and a half Bible verses memorized every week. So... It, I, when I first took over and I was reading that criteria, I'm like, man, is there a kid that's going to do that? Um, but yeah, we had one do it this past year. You get a gold medal, 75 verses in one year. I mean, praise God that these boys can do that. And it's going to serve them throughout their life. Uh, you know, one verse that.